So back to our comparison videos, and this time it's Ronnie Coleman at the 1999 Mr. Olympia versus Dexter Jackson at the 2008 Mr. Olympia when they brought their best physiques ever. Ronnie proved that his win in 1998 was not a matter of luck when he brought an improved physique in 1999 and dominated the stage, while Dexter stunned Jay Cutler in 2008 with his superior conditioning and defined lines. The front double biceps shows that they both have incredible conditioning. Dexter's biceps are massive and long, while Ronnie's biceps are shorter but they have the better peak. Ronnie has the wider chest and lats, but Dexter has the smaller and the more aesthetic midsection. Ronnie's thighs are way more massive. The front lat spread shows the size and the density in Ronnie's lats. Look at the size of his chest, shoulders and arms in comparison with Dexter. Look at the veins in his massive thighs. Dexter looks very symmetrical and proportional, but Ronnie's sheer size and conditioning were inhuman. Ronnie used to hit among the best side chest poses in history, making use of the size and the density of his striated chest. Notice the size of his chest and the peak in his biceps. Dexter, on the other hand, looks complete and proportional. He shows great conditioning with visible striations in the chest, shoulders and thighs. The back double biceps shows Ronnie's dominant size. Look at the peak in his biceps and how his massive shoulders perfectly connect with his traps and wide lats. Dexter arms and rounded shoulders are very impressive and his upper traps are arguably among the best in history. Dexter lacks the density and the details Ronnie shows in his lats. And Ronnie also has the better hamstrings and glutes. They both hit a very impressive rear lat spread. Unlike his front lat spread, Dexter is very powerful in this pose. His lats might not be as wide as those of Ronnie, but they are symmetrical and conditioned. Notice how massive his traps are, and how ripped and striated his lower back is. Ronnie, on the other hand, dominates with his sheer size. His hamstrings and superior glutes overwhelm Dexter in this shot. The abs and thighs might be among Ronnie's least impressive poses along with his side triceps. Dexter arguably has the best midsection among the Olympia winners along with Sean Rodden. His six-pack abs are symmetrical and his waist is smaller. Ronnie, however, has the more massive and freakish thighs, but Dexter would still win this pose. They both hit an incredible most muscular pose. They both have massive and ripped chest, shoulders and arms. But Ronnie definitely is still more massive. Dexter's traps are amazing and show why they are considered among the best in history. Even Ronnie's traps fail to match. Ronnie's sheer size might give him the win in this pose, which is mainly about the maximum amount of muscularity the bodybuilder can show. But I personally prefer Dexter's most muscular. So overall, Ronnie would win most of the poses, except for the abs and thighs, the side triceps, and the most muscular in my opinion. Of course, many of you will say that Ronnie would win the most muscular too, and I am not against that, because he was truly inhuman that year. Let me know what you think about this matchup, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.